A few years ago, I had an on-site interview with a large tech company. In one of my interviews, I was going through the entire process. I think I was 90% done with my solution to the problem. And finally, I was ready to solve that question until I realized, hmm, I need to implement a common algorithm that I learned in my data structures and algorithms class a few years ago. But there's just one problem. I completely forgot how to code this algorithm. So I just sat there for a few minutes trying to figure that out. And that really slowed me down in the process. And what I learned from that is that companies will often ask you questions that may be stemming from your understanding of basic algorithms that you would learn in a data structures and algorithms course. Therefore, it is essential that you know these and know that you need to prepare for these in order to succeed on coding interviews. Hey everyone, my name is Rahul, and today I'm going to be going over the must-know algorithms for coding interviews. And before we begin, I just want to let you know that when I do bring up any algorithms today and I tell you that you should know them, there are two key things that I'm referring to. First off is that you should understand how they work algorithmically, and second, you should know how to write them in the coding language of your choice that you're going to be using on interviews. So with that out of the way, let's get straight into the list. The first class of algorithms that you want to know are tree traversal algorithms. And these are going to be your algorithms concerned with you visiting every single node in a tree in some kind of structured manner. The three primary algorithms in this class are pre-order, in-order, and post-order traversal. You should know all three of them as well as the differences between each. You will often be asked questions that require you to visit every node or some subset of the nodes in a tree in order to find a solution. And knowing these traversal algorithms will allow you to get through the tree, visit the nodes, and solve the question. The second class of algorithms that you want to know are graph search algorithms. So these are primarily going to be concerned with you having a graph type of data structure. This could also be a tree or it could be encoded in some kind of other form. But the key idea here is there are different ways of going through the different nodes in your graph. And these are primarily going to be depth first search or DFS, breadth first search or BFS, and Dijkstra's algorithm. Also, if you have additional time to prepare, I recommend you look into the A star algorithm. So these are all going to be those algorithms that allow you to traverse into your graph and be able to find your way to a destination goal and they're gonna take you in many different ways, so you should know the differences between each one and how efficient each is. The third class of algorithms you want to know are search algorithms. And in this class, there's really just one key algorithm you want to know, and that's binary search. Traditional search requires you to go through an entire list element by element and takes O of N time to be able to find one element inside of a list. But if you have a sorted list, Binary search allows you to do that same operation in O of log n time, meaning it's a common interview question or part of an interview question to have you implement binary search to more efficiently search through a list. Therefore, it's essential that you know how to implement this algorithm. The fourth class of algorithms that you want to know are sorting algorithms. And there are so many of them. But what you want to key in on are the ones that take an average time complexity of O of n log n. And two of the common ones in this class are quick sort and merge sort. These two are the essential algorithms that you need to know. I recommend knowing at least one of them, but if you have the time, why not both? So make sure you go out and learn those two algorithms. It's important for you to understand how insertion sort, selection sort, bubble sort, etc. work but these algorithms have a time complexity of O of n squared, meaning that they're a lot less efficient as your inputs grow compared to merge sort and quick sort, which run at O of n log n. Well, those are the must know algorithms for coding interviews. If this list was informative and helpful to you, please leave a like down below and consider subscribing for more content that's just like this. I want to help you succeed on coding interviews and help you prepare for them. So please help support my channel. Leave a comment down below if any part of this video was really helpful to you. And until next time, see ya.